upped his confidence and took him to another level over the summer. At the backfield, three receivers stacked up to the left, and they get to C.J. Baxter, the true freshman back. Who Make this defense have to communicate and adjust. They take it to Baxter, pitch it to Xavier Worthy, and the speedster receiver stacked to the right now. They don't pressure yours. He's got some space. Can he get there with his legs? Yes, scrambles and dives. That's the new athleticism. You lose about 20 pounds. He really hurt Rice in the opener with third down scrambles. Play action. Ewers has plenty of time. Scans and checks it down to the tight end. Jatavian. Second and five. Baxter off the pump fake. Has it on the edge. A big collision. Ewers scanning. Batted up in the air. And a diving attempt incomplete. Worthy couldn't come back to it. Set down. Sark's got another decision here on fourth down. Ewers on the move. Flips it short, catch made, first down, converted. Done. First and goal from the five. Play action, yours, slant, and incomplete. The freshman's going to come down. You see him come down. Once he comes down, that tells him, okay, let's pull it. Hit that slant right behind it. Ball just a little bit high. Yours. Long throw to the end zone. Off the hands. Of down here comes the field goal team. Just a great route. He, he's in motion before the snap. I think McKinstry thought he was going inside. He immediately puts his brakes on and goes back to the outside. You'll see him motioning. Now he comes back, caught him, really out leveraged him. Squid Yours has had a, a lot of different looks. There's been a lot of focus on the hair and also let's focus on the scale. But he was 205. Texas dropped down to well, actually up to 207, up to 280. Yeah. Kept gaining weight in and this year, a real commitment to his diet. Drop down to 195, feels more athletic, feels more comfortable running the ball. Yeah, and I, I just think talking to him this week, he's just kind of got his his life in order off the field, you know, his priorities, his faith means a lot to him, and, and I think it just kind of got his life in order in every other aspect. Uh, you know, it's a guy you, you, you pull for. Been through a lot in Austin just a couple years. Downfield shot launch for Worthy, and it's incomplete. Third and seven, typically no fun for opposing offenses. A rush for Ewers has time, flips it, completes it, and a first down. Jordan Winnington made the catch, absorbed a hit, and moves the six. Really good route, but nice job with the pocket presence. Here's your route right here, but watch, watch how Ewers kind of navigates the pocket. Doesn't panic. Works it, keeps his eyes downfield. Out. So Texas back in Bama territory. Ewers from the pocket. Now he'll loft one downfield. A ton of air rolling underneath it. Worthy's got it for a touchdown. The deep shot this offense has been seeking desperately. They strike from 44. What a throw by Ewers. And a great read. He's looking right here to read the safety key. And if he bites up on this underneath route, he's going to take a shot. You can see how he feels. Okay, I got him where I want him. Let's put it up in the air, one on one against the freshman. And he goes to one of the top receivers in the country, worthy for a huge play for the Horns here early. You can see what it means not just a touchdown, but a deep shot. As Sarkeesian, what would it mean for yours to connect there? So Quinn Ewers wafting a deep worthy runs underneath and Texas is on top by 10 early second in T-Town. It's beautiful and again good protection but watch how high this is a moon shot. Hopefully Russell Wilson somewhere is watching this because that's how he throws it way up in the air to give your receiver a chance to adjust as a progressive pylon cam to show you that yours looks different than he did last year. Literally, but also not, not, play. Yeah, not just literally <laughs> just the poise in the pocket. Jaden Blue is in the backfield. He's got the ball on the edge gets a block. He was looking that direction. Hit as he throws, but it's complete across the middle. And it is. But because of this formation, I don't know if there's a look in the middle. Look at Xavier Worthy's wide open. You got two Texas there in the middle. Playing quickly. 
Worthy on the edge has a couple blocks. Stutter step. Worthy again. A huge play, maybe a touchdown. Oh, yeah, he had a convoy. And Worthy's in the backfield to the right of viewers on this third and four. Different look. They fling it to him. Creative ways to get number one the ball. Who bounces off two men. Technique here by Arnold coming up at corner and key. They just try to use their shoulder pads. Just try to hit him to wrap up. Playing fast again. Brooks a swing pass. On the edge. Catch made by Whittington. And he's going to be tackled. Grind on here. A lot of traffic in the backfield. Ewers flips it, and it's broken up. Standing poise here by McKinstry because he sat back, read the quarterback's eyes. They tried to troll the entire. Pressure. Ewers escapes, makes a move, and will stumble forward. He'll be stopped at the 10. Deontay Lawson knocked him down the tie to get a stop, and here comes the field goal team. Yeah, they're going to bring pressure right here. Kind of rolling the dice, getting aggressive, trying to be able to affect the timing. Ewers take it. We saw him scramble for his motions out. Two back look. Ewers back to throw. Flips it across the middle, and it's incomplete. Fake it. And a high throw worthy couldn't come out to it. Ever. With plenty of time before the break. Yeah, it shows you the confidence that he has in Ewers. Good pressure there. You, you, even though you don't come up with a sack, you can affect the accuracy. Second and 15 to get it to the perimeter quickly. This is an effective way to use Baxter in the 11. Four man rush. Ewer steps up, flips it away. It's just over the head of Whittington. Cross. Pretty impressive by Ewers to climb this pocket. Up into the pocket. Keeps it just enough time alive. Crucial situation for you was to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one on one. Going up to make the catches. Adonai Mitchell. Wow. Contested. He beat Kool Aid McKinstry. Oh, great rally. Are you kidding me with the throw? <laughs> How about yours? How about Sark calling this? Throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Great job. Goes at their best TV. Yours. Oh, they stuck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Time he slid Sanders and opened up beautifully. The play fake, yours. Pressure picked up. Worthy goes up in the end zone. Knock it loose, because I thought it got over top of his hands and into the arms. I think it got over top of Amos. I mean, that would have been a great catch. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that guy that cleared his hand. Major. Take it to Brooks. Ewers looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. And they're going to try to sneak it with a push. The ball actually goes to Brooks. You, you got Brooks who looks down, and he, but he never had it. Never had the football. Going to discuss whether he was down before the ball. How can loose. you be down when he didn't have it? Now Ewers, bad at no, it's right back to him. Weird stuff is happening. The quarterback on the reception will scamper out of bounds for five yards. What's going to happen next? I, I don't, <laughs> how about Lawson? He times that up. The backer knocks it down. Most quarterbacks are taught just knock the ball down. Ewers lost all this weight, so he said, I'm, I'm just going to catch it and take off and run. And this Texas offense has to respond. This place is louder than it's been all night. On the popping a second and seven. Ewers, he takes a downfield shot, and ball falls to the ground. There's a flag as Mitchell was going out there and just got grabbed. Pass interference on the defense, number three. 15-yard penalty for the first down. see so many of these because a 15-yard penalty is a lot better than what probably would have happened if he hadn't grabbed the receiver. Yeah, and he loses his balance, but again, he's holding on to that jersey. Feels like penalties are a big factor, too. Ninth for Alabama. Ewers still has it and finds his tight end. Sanders, big man, rumbling free, gets a block. Stiff arm, lowers the shoulder. What a run after the catch for this athletic tight end from Texas. Out into the flat right here and watch how he pulls the defense with him. Right here, those two defenders both kind of come up, opened it up nicely right behind it. 
50 yard chunk sets up first and goal. Play fake. Ewers. Slant. Touchdown, Mitchell. What a response by Texas. Bama scores the first touchdown of the night. Texas trails for the first time. Three plays, 75 yards. How do you do to reclaim the lead? Caleb Downs, the freshman, who's going to be a superstar. He has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman, and he throws it right behind. Mitchell, they got some playmakers for good Ewers to pitch the football, too. It's Texas back on top by four. In the second half. Screen. Sanders again. Tight end takes off. Look at the big man move. Holding on the offense. Number 78. A 10 yard carry from the start of the foul. First down. You got a big tackle and Banks trying to block Kool Aid McKinnistry, which is a tough thing to do. And he gets around him, so that's his answer. But you well, they're. Behind the sticks now, first and 15 instead of being in Alabama territory. Brewers scampers, and that's a throw in the ground. Rick Blackshire, who's in for Marshall in the middle of this defense, watch him sniff this out. They've heard all week about. Empty backfield against the three man rush. Ewers throws across the middle and has Jordan Whittington, and he's still going. Whittington. Breaking tackles and diving down into Alabama territory. Viewers, calm, cool, and collected. We've seen Texas defense have some openings in the middle. This time, Ewers has time. Look at the eyes. Look at the poise. The composure comes off. Sees that opening. Typical dude, north of 200 pounds and tough to bring down. Ewers again, looking to throw it. It's Baxter takes the flip to work. And it's really showing tonight. Lewis from the pocket, launching downfield. Mitchell, touchdown, Texas. Aggression and execution. 39 yards. Wow. Haymakers keep coming. Well, right on cue there. We're talking about his composure and how he handles things. Again, he's reading this safety. Downs. He's got receivers underneath that impact the safety. So he knows again. We saw this earlier on the left side. This time they go to the right. Creates a one-on-one -on -one match. Not get over the way Quinn Ewers has played tonight. Yeah, and, it, and it's been from the beginning. We, we kind of set the scene. This is early. A big deep ball. Put it way up in the air. Allowed Worley to adjust to it. Sark deserves a lot of credit for the way he's put him in a position to create some matchups that are Big advantage. Sark said we're going to get four or five. When we get them, we got to hit them. All this talk about what's wrong with Ewers in a deep ball. Over oh, oh seven against Rice wasn't great last year. He showed a lot of composure all game till that. He came over the sideline and he was feeling that. Three for five now on balls 20 yards or longer with two touchdowns. Well, guys, Quinn Ewers has been so calm all game long. He gets sit down, sit down in front of his, his position coach, draw on the whiteboard. He occasionally goes over the offensive line, says, let's stay refocused, stay refocused. But after that last drive, he allowed himself some exuberance. He came over chest bumped with Vince Young, and then he <laughs> came up to the offensive line screaming, one more, one more, let's go finish this. To get off the field here and not let Texas move the chains and chew the clock, but they down. Alabama there you go. jumped there. Texas is 2-0. We're not going to see anything more than that. But they look like a contender tonight.